worked with a lemur for Zabumafu. Yeah. Did you ever get to go hang out with them in Madagascar? Yeah, we have. In fact, we, you know, our first series, Kratz Creatures, we filmed some episodes there in Madagascar. And actually, Pat Wright, who's featured in this film, she she was the one that when we were just getting started making television shows, she invited us to Madagascar to film there. Yeah, when well, we and, were students, and actually it was our experiences in Madagascar, trekking around, trying to make videos, you know, trying to get our first television series where we met lemurs in the wild. And, you know, that kind of stuck with us. And then when we were coming up with our second show for preschoolers, we thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to have a lemur as the main character? And that's how Zabumafu um, came to be. Of all the animals that you have worked with, which one would be your favorite? Oh, that's really tough. I lemurs think are up there, for sure. Lemurs though. Lemur, maybe there. lemurs are the number one. Uh, but then there's giant otters, and there's yeah. African wild Black dogs. Jaguars. Yeah, you know, there's so many animals. <laughs> of the ones you worked with, what animal would you say is the most challenging? I think, you know, for Zabumafu, we filmed a black jaguar. And he was he was in the pool in our in our studio, and he started playing with the basketball, and he did not want to get out of the pool. So we let him stay in there the whole day. He was pretty much a challenge. And some animals are really hard to find in the wild, like, and that's why we're doing our new show, Wild Kratz, as an animated show, because you can't film sperm whales deep, deep battling colossal squid. We know it happens every day, but in animation you can show that stuff. So that's kind of one of the solutions for the animals that are really hard to find is animate them. 